2014 Boomstick was built with 14 pounds uh, intentionally in mind. When I ride, I want to skate this 14 pounds that is more predictable under my feet. The bi-level design itself uh, gives it more of a skateboard feel. Having the separation of the boards is like having the separation of a board versus the trucks. It gives you a swing weight, and that swing weight also adds more predictability. Yeah, the ABS sidewall and the centered base on this board really have the durability to take on pretty much anything you put in its path. The bottom deck on this board is made with 100% uh, polonia, uh, which is super eco-friendly, and uh, it's got a lot of snap, and uh, it lasts for a long time, so that snap is gonna prolong through the life of the skate. I look for a smoother and a faster ride when it comes to rocker lines. A popular misconception about bi-levels is that they're not very good for beginners. Having a top deck that's independent from the water line makes it to where you have a bigger sweet spot when you're riding. When I'm coming down on this board and I land on a toe or a heel edge, um, having that flex from the bi-level I think makes it so much more consistent and reliable. So whenever that top deck is torquing, whenever you put so much weight on your toe edge, the bottom deck isn't going to do as much and it's going to make it way more stable. On a high-end note, I think that the board flips on so much better of an axis um, having two boards and just being able to predict where it's going to be and then be there and be on top of it just makes it ride so much better. You hear skateboarders talking about landing bolts on a deck. They really paved the way for this kind of design. Uh, having the two pockets uh, for your feet to land in, it just makes it so much more reliable and stable when you're, when you're catching your tricks. One thing I love about the boomstick is these, these flat kicktails. Uh, we did this on purpose so that you would uh, have a nice spot to put your feet on takeoffs and landings, um, mostly on leavings because um, that's where you want to derive your, uh, your pop from, is from the kicktails and having a nice flat surface uh, to jump off of is, um, is optimal. Don't be scared of the weight. Go to your local board shop, pick one up, try it, you might love it. Centered base, the most durable non-stick base material we've ever tested on rails. With our exclusive base, no obstacle is safe on cable parks with our jib friendly material. Park fins, a fin actually designed to be sessioned on rails. Wider profile, fatter bottom surface area, and a durable new construction, ready for anything in its way. Also designed for riders that like that finness feel, with a less gratuitous grip on the water. Magic Hopper, it has nothing to do with that hot little genie that's whizzing through the air on a rug. Instead, our Magic Carpet is our exclusive fiberglass using materials that try to find that perfect weave allowing just enough resin to bleed through and adhere to our board. Available in four different weights and weaves depending on the size and model. Magic Carpet.